Hey guys, Dsmooth753 here to remake an older video I did a while ago, or just a few days ago. Whatever, to me it's the past. Past is past. I was talking about how superheroes are not a genre, they are a medium. In there's so many YouTubers saying nowadays, I'm so tired of superhero movies, they all do the same thing, when is this gonna end? And I think Martin Scorsese, was it him or was it someone else? It said that that superhero movies will go out like the westerns and nobody's going to remember them and they're all just going to be gone that is so wrong on so many levels superhero movies are not a genre they're a medium a genre by definition is a super specific fiction with a specific setting a specific time and a specific look to it Westerns are a genre that is, is a specific setting with a specific look to it. You gotta always have the cowboy hat. Always, it's always set in a desert-like location. Old-timey and stuff like that. That is a super specific genre. Now, you can have it set... You can mix it with other genres like sci-fi and stuff. I think there's, there's some shows that do that. But what makes Westerns a genre is that it's so specific. And now you can have it be PG, you can have it be R-rated, have it be for kids, have it be for adults, but it's always that specific setting. That is a genre. It is limited. Superheroes are not a genre. They're a medium. A superhero, by definition, is just an individual who takes things into their own hands and goes out on a quest to do what they believe is right. That is such a blanket, vague term. First of all, what even counts as a superhero? Is Aang from Avatar Less Airbender, are they superheroes? They take things into their own hands. Robocop, does he count as a superhero? Those old action movies from the 80s, like Die Hard, do they count as superhero movies? They're people who take things into their own hands. It's such a blanket term. That really anything can count as a superhero. That's why we get so many weird outlanders. The Guardians of the Galaxy. They're not the first thing that you think of when you think of superheroes. But technically, they are. They take things into their own hands. It's such an open term. And there's no limit to the setting. It doesn't have to take place in, in the city. You don't have to have the story of guy gets bit by spider, gets power. It doesn't have to take place in the city. It could take place in an alternate reality, in a future. It could be set in the future. It could be set in the past. You could have a time traveling hero. You could be set in other dimensions. There's no limit. That's why Marvel is so successful, because Marvel, they keep pumping out. Like Marvel and DC, they keep pumping up all these crazy heroes and all these crazy abilities. There's no limit to it. A quarter of infinity is still infinity. There's no limit to what a superhero movie can be. And who's to say it has to be for kids? They can make it for adults like The Punisher. You could make it dark and gritty like Batman. You could make it kid-friendly. Uh, you could make it bright and colorful, make it dark, have them wear their costumes, have them not wear their costumes. The, the concept of what counts as a superhero is so vague. Does, does Sonic the Hedgehog count as a superhero? Takes things into his own hands. Does, Mar Does Super Mario count as a superhero? They take things into their own hands. It's such a blanket and open term. And that's what makes superheroes a medium. There's no limit to it. There's no limit to it. Thank you. Like and subscribe.